Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we have a Chevy Nova SS that was recovered from a flood in Hurricane Ian and it was brought up to Ohio by the guys over at Street Machinery. Now what's really cool about this particular detail is that after we finish, they're gonna be completely disassembling the car, replacing all the electricals and rebuilding it. This car is actually for sale and you guys can either buy it as is or you can have the guys over at Street Machinery fully restore it. So if anyone's interested in that, I'll leave their Instagram in the description below. But our job on this car was to take it apart and get it cleaned up so the rebuilding process can begin. And we even did some extra stuff to give it a great end result. Now hopping into the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. This car was already restored once and it has an LS3 motor in it. Do you guys think after being in a flood, this car would turn over? And if not, what do you think needs to be done to be able to get it there? Now hopping straight into the detail, the first thing we did was try our best to get as much of the mud out of the car as possible before we pulled the carpet out. But it was pretty solid and stuck to the carpet, which actually kind of worked out in our favor because once we got it out and we started pressure washing it, it made really satisfying content. So you guys want to make sure you watch all the way through the video. You don't want to miss that. By this shot, you could definitely tell this car has been restored because just by looking at the floor, it's pretty solid. And this is what we were actually able to vacuum up, which seems like quite a bit to me. Now it was finally time to clean off the carpets and the first thing we did was take them all outside and pressure wash the mud off of them. And then when we were done with that, we brought them inside and finished the cleaning process.
if you guys enjoyed that, definitely make sure to leave a like on the video because it helps us a ton. We do all these details completely for free. But anyways, moving on to the fun part, we got to pressure wash out the entire inside of the car. But because there were no drain holes, we had to use our extractor to suck all the water out afterwards, but that wasn't really a big deal. But I will say once the car got wet, it smelled really, really bad. And I can only assume that's because of the Florida water that was sitting in there for however many weeks because it, it was gross. So moving on to the seats, we went ahead and cleaned all the mud off of them by vacuuming them first and then pressure washing them. And then later on when we put them back in the car, we went ahead and conditioned them to make them soft again.
Now moving on to the actual interior, it was still dirty after pressure washing it, so we went ahead and cleaned it really good. And I noticed after cleaning the steering wheel that the metal part was still kind of cloudy and it definitely needed some polishing. So I went ahead and took some steel wool and some chrome polish and I polished it out. And let me know if you guys think it was a good idea down below. Before we moved on to the exterior, we noticed that this rocker wasn't really cleaning up either. So, so I decided to pull back out the steel wool and the chrome polish. And although it didn't come out 100% perfect, I think it made a significant improvement. Now moving on to the exterior, we didn't do anything crazy, but we did give it a really good wash. And the reason for that is because this car is gonna be getting repainted. And again, if you guys wanna buy this car, I'm leaving the Instagram in the description below, so make sure to go contact them. But it was definitely really cool to see the red paint on this car pop again. Moving into the engine bay, I wanna test your guys' knowledge on cars. If you guys know what car this engine is from, leave it in the comments below. But also, if you look at the left and the right side of the bay, you can see how high the water got when this car got flooded. Because there's mud on both sides of it, that's how high the water was.
And for the final touches, I noticed the back of the mirrors looked really bad, so I wanted to fix that. And you guys will be able to see that I was able to make a complete transformation on them. Mm -hmm. 